good. That's really good. Whoa. This tastes like a Disneyland Dole Whip. This is easy to make. That's Super dangerous. Easy to make. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. On today's episode of Kitra's Quarantine Kitchen, what are we doing today, Peter? Remember back when we could go to Disneyland and we could have just head on over to the Tiki Room and gotten ourselves a Dole Whip and we didn't? Yeah, all those times, all those missed opportunities. <laughs> So today we're gonna try to make some Dole Whips at home. Yeah, Disneyland came out with their official Disneyland Dole Whip recipe, which I don't know how official it actually is because it has ice cream in it and the one in the park is apparently dairy free. But Dole also released their own Dole Whip recipe, so why not try them both? Yeah. See which one's better? Come with us on this adventure. question I have for you is which one of these recipes do you want to try to make first? I guess let's go with let's do Disney. All right, let's do it. I don't know. I don't know why. What's that like, from? I don't. I don't. <laughs> it's called quarantine, baby. That's what happens. Let's do it. Here is everything that you're gonna need for the Disneyland official Dole Whip recipe. You're gonna need one big scoop of vanilla ice cream, a half cup of pineapple juice, and two cups of frozen pineapples. We didn't have any frozen pineapples, so what we did is we went to the store and we got two cans of dull pineapples. We took out the juice as best as we can, lined a plate with parchment paper, dumped out the pineapples, and put it in the freezer to get them nice and cold for our Dole Whip. Since it's a pineapple themed episode, I think it's only fair to grab myself an Ace's Hard Cider. Not sponsored, but if they want to sponsor, you know who to contact. As you guys are aware, our last churro video turned out like magnificent. And I feel like this is a fairly easy recipe. The hardest part is going to be get it to look like an actual Dole Whip and then taking that thumbnail quick before it melts. But I have faith that we can do it. I think the number one most important ingredient to this whole recipe is your blender. You're going to need a blender and pour everything in. The first ingredient I poured in was half a cup of Dole pineapple juice. And then we're going to get a huge, gigantic scoop of vanilla ice cream, and our two cups of frozen pineapple. What are you doing? Getting all the little babies into the pool. I don't know why. I Wait, you're, you're gonna like put them in the pool and kill them? Yes. I really hope this is delicious because this is like the easiest recipe I've ever done in Kitra's Quarantine Kitchen. I had it right the first time. Power it on. What should we do? Low, medium, high, or pulse? High. High? Like, this is the easiest recipe ever. <laughs> okay, so on the bottom, I feel like we've got a real good mix. I feel like it's almost there. You're getting excited, Peter? Yes. Fingers crossed, this is the last time I have to do this. So how you want to serve your Dole Whip is all up to you. If you just want to put it in a bowl and enjoy it and it not look like a Disney Dole Whip, you could do that. But a lot of people, what they do, will put it through a pastry bag. Again, it's, it's during the middle of the pandemic. We don't have the proper tool, so we're just gonna cut a little bag. There we go. We're gonna load the Dole Whip into there and hopefully it'll get that like Dole Whip swirl. 
Fingers crossed. Moment of truth. Oh my God. This is so cold. Oh no. Kinda looks like a dual whip. If you weren't doing this for like social media or yeah. a YouTube channel, I would suggest probably just eating it and not trying to make it look good. Not working the way I thought it would work. Does that look anything like a Dole Whip? Yes. All right, quick. Let's take the thumbnail. <laughs> I want to try this. Let's try it. Ready? Yes. Am I ready? It smells really good. Of course, it's just ice cream and pineapples. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. This tastes like a Disneyland Dole Whip. There's something different about it. Like maybe it's because it has like dairy in it. See for me, I don't even taste the ice cream. It just tastes like very, very extra pineapple-y. Like in a good way. Not that the D the Disneyland Dole Whips aren't extra pineapple-y. That's not even like a word, but. It does taste like the difference of getting like a handcrafted ice cream or cocktail as opposed to like a pre-mixed kind of thing. Yeah. Like you taste the freshness. Yeah, that's it. The fresh juice. This is easy to make. That's Super dangerous. Easy to make. Sometimes you get like little chunks of pineapple. Do you? Yeah, it's good. It was hard to blend. I'm sorry, I tried. No, it, it, I think that makes it. This really? is awesome. Do we have any rum? <laughs> we do. <laughs> I feel like this is already getting pretty watered down now, so I'm not sure if that's good, a good idea at this point. Yeah, probably not. We've got our pineapple ciders. But I think I would give this... Five. Yeah, five star. The Yay! Five Peters. So it gets an ordinary adventure star. Whoop, whoop. I feel like this is another win. The churros were a win for us. This is so easy. I don't know why I'm in disbelief, but we just made a Dole Whip. What do you think the Dole one tastes like? Does it how does it compare? Let's find out. Let's find out. Here is everything that you're gonna need for the Dole official Dole Whip recipe. You're gonna need one cup of pineapple juice frozen in an ice cube tray, one Dole banana peeled and frozen, two and a half teaspoons of powdered sugar, and one fourth to one cup of unsweetened coconut milk. So for the Dole recipe, you're gonna have to take one cup of Dole pineapple juice and put it into an ice cube tray and freeze it. And also take one banana and put that in the freezer as well. all of our frozen pineapple cubes inside the pool, ready to go, ready and waiting. Now we're gonna take our frozen Why banana. Why are you with this pool analogy? I'm just, you know, continuity. <laughs> then I'm gonna take my frozen banana, put it on in, join the kids, ready to go swimming. Here is the half, actually, you know what? I think it said to kind of gradually put this in, so we're gonna, blend it a little and then kind of put little by little some of this milk in. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm eating a, a Dole Whip, I never taste banana in it or powdered sugar. So, I don't know. We're gonna need two and a half teaspoons of powdered sugar. Go ahead and add some of our unsweetened coconut milk. Like a banana. It now looks like a dole whip. Does it? Does it smell like a dole whip? Smells like a banana whip. I mean, I'm not complaining, but it makes it just a little bit more. Let's see if I could pour this one better than the first one. 
What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Or is this one gonna look more like a Dole Whip than the other one? I'll put as much as I can in here. It smells good. I'm not sure it smells like a Dole Whip, but it smells good. Do you wanna do it or do you want me to do it? I don't know, do you trust me? It's up to you. You do it. All right, looking good. This is too watery to... Peter, what is going on? This is not happening. No, oh, Peter! <laughs> Our churros look like gizmo poops. This looks like a pixel diarrhea. Ew, don't say that when people are watching a video about food. Forget I said that. Okay, this one turned out a little bit more watery. I'm not sure why, but let's let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. It tastes good, but there's a lot of banana. Right? It kind of does taste like a Dole Whip, though. Does a Dole Whip have like a hint of banana in it? Maybe it does. It does taste good. I don't know which one tastes better. I would say I would also give this a five out of five, Peter. If I made this again, I think I'd just put less banana and more pineapple. Okay, this, this, this gets a five. I feel like if I was gonna do this, oh, Ordinary Adventure Star. I feel like if you live a dairy-free lifestyle, try this. If you don't, try the one with ice cream. Both are very good. I would say that the Disney one feels a little bit more like the one from the park. Yeah, I agree. I think this would be good with rum in it. <laughs> Probably. It looks like there's just enough rum left to add to my Dole Whip. What? It looks so liquidy now. I know, I need a straw. <laughs> Cheers. Five out of five would recommend. This was a lot of fun and super easy. I think the most stressful thing was just trying to get that perfect spiral, which we did not achieve. I feel like we started out with the Ronto wrap and then we, we keep on getting easier things as we go in, as we go down the line. Baby steps. We're still beginners here in Kitra's Quarantine Kitchen. As I always say, if we can do it, so can you. This is an easy recipe. <laughs> do you always say that or is this the first time you said it? a new catchphrase. Okay, there we go. As you, as he says. Because as you know, I am a connoisseur of Dole Whips and this is a good one. <laughs> if you guys at home decide to make this recipe, tag us on Instagram. We've been resharing everyone's photos, videos of them trying out the Kitra quarantine recipes. Yeah. Join the Kitra's quarantine kitchen squad. Revolution. Last time we answered a question of what film franchise would we like to get turned into a theme park land? We said Lord of the Rings, but some people in the comment had other ideas. Ooh. One of them said Star Trek. I would love to visit the Enterprise. You know, there was this whole thing in Las Vegas. There was like a Star Trek experience. Yeah. It closed down. I wish I had gone to it because you can look up YouTube videos and it looks amazing. It looks like what... Galaxy's Edge was trying to be with the interactivity and stuff. Interesting. And some other people suggested for video games, Final Fantasy, Elder Scrolls, or Kingdom Hearts. I haven't played any of those games. Yeah. I'm sure those are all great, but... Well, I feel like people would freak out over Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, probably. I, I was thinking about this question after we answered it, and the only film franchise that I feel like that hasn't been made, maybe The Matrix? Or at least The Matrix Ride? I don't know what that would be. Some other things I was thinking of, I'd like to go on a Planet of the Apes ride based on the recent Planet of the Apes. Oh, that'd be fun. And also, someone needs to be working on a James Bond or Mission Impossible stunt ship. Yeah, why? I mean, there's a Jason Bourne. Why didn't they go with Mission Impossible? What the heck? Well, Universal does know Mission well, Impossible. So. by the rights, Universal, come on. Let's go to some questions from the last video. One is, what is your favorite piece of merchandise that you have gotten at any theme park? That's hard. I don't really buy merchandise besides like backpacks. You do. You buy a lot of stuff. And like stuffed animals and stuff like that. You don't have a favorite one? I love them all equally. 
I have two answers for you. Number one, my Savvy Saber, because that it was created by me the first day the Galaxy's Edge opened. It's forever going to be a memory, mm -hmm. and it's also a big part of this channel and yeah. like this community that we created. Okay, that's a good answer. Second, if it wasn't going to be that, I would have to pick. I have this plaque for the Haunted Mansion that you got me one year. Yeah, wow. I didn't know that you loved that as much as you yeah. did. It's a replica of like, yeah. the Haunted Mansion sign. Cool. Yeah, I love that. Awesome. I wish I could think of my favorite. I love everything equally. I'm easily pleased. What is your least favorite Marvel movie and why? What's yours? Honestly, I'd probably say like Iron Man 2. I don't know. I had recently, I hadn't seen it, and then recently I watched it. I didn't think it was as bad as everyone said it was. You know, it starts off strong, and then it becomes just a mess. I like them all. I guess maybe, like, pains me to say it, but, like, the second Thor movie. And I love Thor. Thor in the Dark World. But it's just, like, so whatever. Which Ride of Galaxy's Edge do you like better? Smugglers Run or Rise of the Resistance? Rise of the Resistance. Rise of the Resistance. Not, e not even a question. Next question. What's one character you wish you could meet at Disneyland that isn't currently there? I am obsessed with all of the Japanese friend characters, Duffy and Friends. You guys may or may not be familiar with them. Duffy used to be at Disney California Adventure and he actually used to be at Epcot and now he's he's no longer in any of the US parks. Yeah. So I, I want Duffy and all his friends. I really don't have an answer for this. I, I guess it would probably have to be like a Star Wars character. Like I've never seen a Luke Skywalker meet and greet. That would be interesting. We got to meet the Ewoks and C-3PO on an 80s night and I would love to see them in the parks. Yeah, that, that's a good answer. Someone else asked, what Batu experience should they experience first? Batu East or Batu West? I think I could speak for both of us. We're both biased towards Batu West because, you know, we live in Southern California. It's our home park. It's our home park. But not only that, the weather's better here. The crowds aren't as crazy. I feel like the only disadvantage is it doesn't have as much like alcohol, alcohol and it's kind of hard to get a reservation for Ogas if that's something that like you're into. But my answer would still probably be um, Batu West. Yeah. What about both you? are really good though. They're both almost identical. Yeah. So you can't go wrong. The colors are a little different. I think I like the Disneyland colors more than the Disney World. Mm -hmm. Just uh, Disney World's a little bit too bright. And this feels more like lived in yeah. and dirty, dirty, dusty. Yeah. If you could move somewhere else, where would it be? You know, I've always wanted to live in London. Oh, really? Or... We've never had this conversation, <laughs> I don't think. I always thought it could be fun because I love, like, the English countryside and I love, like, the city of London. She I don't says know. that until she experiences the London weather. Well, I would... No, I like... Yeah, it's cold. I know. Well, cold and rainy. Sometimes and... it's too hot in California and I'm Southern California and I'm sick of it. But as far as places like in the U.S., probably maybe like New York City could be fun. See, that would be my answer. I've really? always wanted to live in New York City, but I feel like it's too late for us. We already have a house here and like yeah. New York City space is a premium. We would have to downside. I don't know. It's just, I don't think it could work. And, and also... This whole coronavirus mess is just like insane yeah. over there. But you know, okay. I watch. I even watch like you know, like Casey Neistat and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, it, must, it was. It's kind of cool. Oh, New York is just has such a cool vibe. I, I love cities. We visited a couple years ago, and it was a blast. I wish we were doing the vlog then. We would have had so much. It was like amazing. Content. A year before we started the vlog, we went there, and it was so much. We did so much too. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to go back once you know. Who knows when. <laughs> If you want to see our previous food creations in Kitra's Quarantine Kitchen, click on that video right over there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you, you on, on the next adventure. adventure.